I have not seen Ankama's reply to the recent tickets. Oh no. Oh no. What is what is it? I love it. I'm going to take a break after this and read that. Oh my god, this is not gonna be good. This man is the most We're gonna translate that bad boy. It reads a shame, simply a shame, right? That's the title of the post, but I could only see the reply and I've just seen level design and I knew immediately that it was going to be not great. And I think the fact that art started this sentence with you're not gonna like this means I'm not gonna like this. <laughs> and I'm on it now. Oof. I get it. Where, where can I see the post that they made? I can't see what the post is about. Where is the post itself? Oh, holy shit! This guy wrote a fucking newspaper article. Holy smokes. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. I feel like this is gonna be a long ass read. Both his and their response. Holy shit, Papino himself responded. Jesus Christ! This guy apparently put a big post together. Let's read it, evaluate what he has said, whether he has any merit or not, and then look at the response from uh, the Pope. The Pope himself. <laughs> right. Hello, everyone. Seriously, after so many years of development, money invested in the project, and so much hype for this shit? Question mark. I'm already deducting points, and you all know why I've said this a thousand times. Language matters. Papino responded, but I can almost guarantee you if he used different words, he likely would have, have gotten a different sort of response. Maybe not at the foundation of it, but the tone and things like that. Anyway, I digress. The decor. The decor is beautiful and animated. Uh, um, but, no, the decor might as well have been animated. It's good that they're animated right now. They have reduced in quality and rendering compared to 2.0 that is wrong he is absolutely wrong when we saw this image and how blurry it is somebody said that unity had decreased in terms of quality of rendering but we had an expert in chat called jay on shadow who is one of the biggest authors of the U uh, dofus english wiki who mentioned that they are keeping with their tradition of elements that are clickable and are rendered to high quality. Elements that aren't are an image and get pixelated when you zoom in. So when you zoom in on Unity, it's blurry, but I can use this and interact with it. It's high quality. Characters are high quality because you can interact with them. The image in the background is not. I verified this by going to the same map on the normal Dofus and he's absolutely right. So that point he got wrong. The number of sujets et d'images montrant un compartiment Indicative the problem. So the number of topics and images shown before and after is indicative of there being a big problem. Right. We are in the beta. I hear you. But how is it that after many years of development, a four months and four months away from the official release, the game is foggy. It's uh, pixelated. It's uh, flu. How would you say flu in French? Uh, it's uh, foggy, foggy is the word. Maps are not even 4K. But are you a studio with four employees? What was the word? Was it blurry? Blurry, yes, exactly right. The game is blurry. Maps are not even 4K. But are, are, you, are you joking? Are you, are you a studio of four employees? The cross hold their arms in front of them to punch. But... Where are we? What is this animation? Why is it animation? There is no individual animation and posture unique to class, to every single class in a fight. After, we're all four months away from the official release. Oh, and I forget the fact that it, this is willful to have included, you know, the skeletal body, the same skeletal body for all classes that allows you, without any doubt, to sell animation of postures within fight later on. I've heard many people say this. This is just an allegation. I don't know anything about this. <laughs> but everybody seems to agree that at some point they will start selling things to customize that. They've made it bad on purpose. Do we have any evidence for that or are we just saying this? So they've made the skeletal body the same and ugly. So that without a shadow of a doubt, later on they will sell 
posture animation within the fight for some euros, for some measly euros. So he's talking about microtransactions. Without forgetting that the animations are, of course, the course qui s'est passé. Right. So he said, who knows? Maybe you will even sell the breathing animations and things like that. So you're going to introduce microtransactions on testosterone and steroids. This is what he's saying. <laughs> Is there any basis for this allegation before we carry on? Because I've heard so many people say it. Is there any truth to it? Where is people? Where are people coming up with this? Right, and now he moves on to the uh, part about maps, like Art said earlier. Maps are minuscule. It's funny that at 4, you want to do some 8 dungeon where you're 200 and we'll have 6 cells between you and the monsters, okay. So if you do 8 loot on a 200 dungeon, they will have a maximum of 6 squares between you and the monsters. Here, before even continuing, he is wrong. Because there is, uh, we've seen this yesterday during the live, they've mentioned that at early game, the maps are small because you don't have enough MP and they don't want you spending 5 turns running behind mobs. But later on, the size of the map scales with the level of the area, the dungeon and things like that. So here he's not done his homework and he does not know that maps scale with levels. So level 200, you won't have six squares between you and eternal conflict. It will be a big map. So here he's undermining his own argument by not knowing this crucial information that is out there. Granted, I did not know it, but Jay made it clear to me yesterday with evidence from Dofus that it does scale with time. And I couldn't even imagine a scenario with summons. I am so looking forward to fight groups of six blobs, each of which will summon a big blob that is invisible. <laughs> and I will have to have some distance between them and the Lapino, four trees of the Sadi, and three of their dolls, and two summons from the Osas, and the summons from the Sack and the Enotrophs. I'm so looking forward to do fights with 25 entities in a map of 80 square. <laughs> this is the least dramatic Frenchman, let me say. <laughs> least dramatic Frenchman. Literally, I love how he painted the image of a tiny map four classes and he's given me claustrophobia in writing <laughs> right maps on top of that are externally random what yes they are random but they're not fully random you have five options what does he mean here wait you you mean to say that you haven't even transcribed every single map in the game in which we can have a fight, but just some maps per zone. What? This is shameful. This is laziness. This is crazy laziness and absolutely in, uh, unthinkable to believe that this was a good idea. Right, we've talked about this before, right? Five maps to begin with, you can increase that to 600 if you wanted. But I don't want them to tell me that they're not going to release Unity in December. Because they have 15,500 maps to work through and the team is busy. So they can't fix bugs, they can't look at four... No, 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 this is a bad argument, this is terrible. We've covered this before. Oh my god, he mentioned Colibri. Oh my god, this is gonna get really bad. This is gonna get bad. For those of you who don't know what, who Colibri is, she's uh, an artistic designer, the lady who authored this design versus the one that we have now in Unity. We went down a rabbit hole that I will turn into a video very soon, whereby she worked at the company, she left it, she made money using Dofus elements in her art, she receives images of people's character and turns them into art and they've sued her and Kama released an official statement and she is in murky water with them and there's a whole drama we have do we we did dive into the other day just yesterday I'm saying the other day it's only been open for 3 days holy shit <laughs> and this woman we realized that the mere mention of her name in a an official Ankama live account whether they're live or a form gets you banned and it has happened multiple times and there's evidence for that apparently. And there's a whole drama around her. So the fact that he mentioned her 
is terrifying to me because they might just discredit all the good points he has here and the bad ones because he mentioned someone they hate okay the design of the characters are horrible dot uh let's turn towards dofus shibi trokawai and dofus shibi trokawai the community express i don't know what dofus shibi trokawai means here Maybe this is a French expression to mean it's too camp, it's too childish, I don't know. Kawaii as cute, it's too cute, alright, okay, okay. Dofushibi troka, okay, okay, okay. So it's too uh, cute e. right. I, I've put a different word on it, mobile game-like, he used very cute, <laughs> okay, <laughs> to each their own. The community has expressed for many years to you that this is not the direction that we want for the game, and you're not listening. Colibri, the woman I've mentioned and summarized the drama behind her, the fact that she worked with the company and everything, has revealed some design over the years that were light years ahead of what, in terms of quality, of the ones that you have offered us. The community wants to understand, uh, the community wanted you to understand that, but you haven't listened. You do not care. You do not listen. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a very quick moment here and say something, a piece of wisdom that I have acquired through spending hours of conversation with Gluto, who is an actual game developer, sorry to say Kachka, he is a game developer, he works in the, in the industry, and I had this idea that this person right here is espousing, and I've put this to him multiple times, and through facts and logic, I've changed my mind on it. I have changed my mind on this. You should not expect to have a say about how a game should be designed, developed, made, turned into, changed, colored. It's a product that you do not own. So you shouldn't have. I'm saying this with all the love and I've learned to understand this. So I'm sharing my journey of traveling from I expect the game to look a certain way and the team should listen to what I have to say to this now because I've listened to the reasons that Gluto has provided. You should not or I should not expect that a company that owns a product and hires a bunch of people to make something that they have inside their heads to stop what they're doing and come and ask me what I want. The, I, I've changed my mind on that and I think everybody should sort of at least consider it. Not telling the company what you want and for them to listen to you and change it. Because at the end of the day, if every movie maker came to me and asked me about what I want in a movie, we would have absolute rubbish films all around. If every gaming company came to me and asked me how we should design things, I do not know enough about everything to for my opinion to matter for the game company. I enjoy what they make, I take it as it is, I give them my opinion, they do what they want with it. I, I no longer have the expectation that they should listen to me about how they should make their game. <laughs> I've, I've abandoned this idea. Make of it what you will. I would say the best position is to at least consider it. Because I've pushed it to the limit. If Glass manufacturers started asking me how they should make them. Who, sh who should they listen to? Why should they listen to me? Why should my opinion matter in that thing or the other? Imagine all the things you don't know anything about that are designed that you use them. The shape of this plastic tub, the shape of a fucking fork, the tastes, the... You vote with your money, you vote with your opinion. But you shouldn't expect to have a say because you care about something so much that they should put everything on hold and listen to you and change it. Because if they did that, the game would be too easy, it would be rubbish, we would have problems. Because the gamers should not decide what the game is. It's their product and that's how I see it right now. I might change my mind on it later on, but this is how I view it as of today. I don't expect Ankama to listen to what I have to say about their entire game design game, direction, mobs, uh, anything, anything, anything. This is my current opinion. So I disagree with them on that point, but I understand where they're coming from, given th that I held that opinion just a few months ago. Literally, before I knew Gluto, I did not have that opinion, but through hours of conversation, I've come to change my mind on that very point. Moving on. The characters lose their nature, with the NPCs. Uh, this is a point I have seen made repeatedly on Twitter. There are images of characters and NPCs and they clearly show 
that the char the NPCs have a lot more character to them than the actual uh, characters that we play have less life than actual NPCs. What I mean to say is NPCs are so fucking cool. They're well designed. When you stand next to one, it's fucking cool. It's beautiful. There's a lot of efforts into it. You can clearly see the spirit of it. And then you look at characters and they just look bland in comparison. So I see the point that he's making and I can't find the image. The mask NPC that looks so cool with a lot of items on them and stuff like that. And then an actual mask stood next to it looking like a lemon. <laughs> Does anybody have that? I'm trying to scroll and see if I come across it. I honestly can't remember where I've seen it. Oh! There's the image I was talking about earlier. This is the extra extraneously one. Where if you look at your character right next to an NPC, it just looks out of whack. It looks out of touch. It looks like it was superimposed. I found the image. But this is a really good point. If you go to Astrobe and walk around the NPCs, you will notice a clear distinction between NPCs, the amount of effort put into them, uh, the beauty and the attention to detail and stuff, and our characters. They just lose their character. I agree with him on that. So the characters that we play lose their nature and essence when you compare them to the NPCs and the monsters that inhabit the world of 12. You could say really that our characters are copy-paste on the screen of the game compared to giving us the logical sensation that my character is in the game. Okay, I see what he's saying here. They look like something that was superposed on the game that does not belong to it when you compare it to everything else. It looks weird compared to everything. It does not fit in the decor. Good point. I like that. I agree with that. They denature, I don't know if that's a verb or a word that you can use in English, but they lose their essence and nature completely. Without even talking about, about the animations, of course. All you need to do is to look attentively in order to understand that nothing works. On this very paragraph, I fully agree with him. The characters look out of shape, they do not fit, they do not blend in, they look extra... Uh, what's the word? How would you say this? Extraneously? Extraneous? Extraneously, yeah. They look that they have been imposed on the game and they don't belong there. And I will give him uh, kudos on that one. They look alien to the world. That's quite right, Crowns. Yeah, that's exactly right. I agree with that completely. No point in there. And I don't know that anybody argues that. All you have to do is look at your character breathing and looking all weird and everything else just does not fit. And this is largely due to the fact that everything has not changed massively graphically, but the characters have. So the characters are so far ahead of the graphical change of everything else. It makes sense. To you, a fan of Dofus and a gamer of a long time. No, he's addressing messages to us. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like people. It's not your place. We don't know who you are. We don't know what your qualifications are. You have an opinion and you're not even wrapping it in good language and that is a big thing for me so i don't know that his address to me has a lot of ba value but we will still read it and evaluate it dofus unity will not be the fresh wind that, that you were hoping for for years whether it be uh, the interfaces the mechanics of slide to change the map the drag that lets you change the map uh this one so you can just pull without clicking anywhere and it changes maps the uh, what was the word again? The uh, foggy, uh, blurry, blurry decors that are not adapted to the resolutions of any screen, any decent screen or even a normal screen nowadays. The uh, I think that's a prop. Yeah, I see what he means here. Sorry, 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 everyone. Sorry, everyone. I see what he means. It's the conversation I've had with Eslix the other day about the borders. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I found it. I'll open it in full HD so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. Right, so here he's making the point that resolution is not adapted to most screens nowadays. They've not thought of people's screens and the varieties that exist out there. So here's the thing. I run a box standard 27 inch screen, right? When I go to my game, there is no black borders and you can see all the uh, buttons that you have here, the settings, thank you very much, I appreciate it. All the settings that I have here or within my screen on top of the green of the map. But he has a different screen, I think he has a curved 
34 or something Slick spends a lot of money on his screens it has a fucking amazing setup beautiful with many screens high resolution curved screens all the crazy stuff that you can imagine right and his screen shows the game like this he has all the buttons on top of the black edge if i were on the same map everything would be condensed to the edges but for him it's too stretched because the game does not understand the resolution has changed and just stretches it to fit the screen and it looks disgusting like this. So I give him massive points for this. If you are making a game, you have to think of the wide variety of resolutions, screens that exist out there because not everyone is poor like me and uses a bog standard Dell screen that can max at 1080p. 60 FPS <laughs> Some people have ultra wides and some people have crazy resolutions and refresh rates and whatever you name it They have not accounted for that and he gets points for mentioning that that is a big one The renders that are childish for the characters and again Oh, encore un nombre limité de cartes. A number, a limited number of maps, fight maps, and the reduction of the size of those ones. We've addressed those. I don't agree with him on that. And uh, the reduction is modular. The higher up you go, the higher up you go, the bigger the maps become in terms of gaming progression. So that is not even a point. We shouldn't go back to that at all. But I take his point. He has some really good points. I just wish he was more. Uh, Elegant in the way he put across his message, but this is the least dramatic French person as we've established <laughs> So I'm not omniscient. I don't have the pretense to say or know that I have a sort of universe so I don't he's saying that I do not possess Absolute knowledge, right? I'm not speaking from the entire community I don't have perfect knowledge and I don't have universal knowledge, but to say that you have good returns you have received positive feedback about unity is a shameful lie and the actual state of the development of the game shows shows and reveals a real lack of respect from the studio towards the community of gamers that make it live that allow it to exist for many years now or we could borderline say that Ankama is a studio of four employees maximum per game that has an objective of extracting a maximum of cash from the players for a minimum cost. Okay, this is an accusation, but he's concealing it. It's, it's, a, it's a dig. <laughs> he's saying, looking at how you behave, you would think that you're a studio of four maximum employees that are trying to extract a maximum of cash for a minimum of effort while maximizing maximizing the number of games that are out there. This is, <laughs> I told you, this is the least dramatic French guy. <laughs> Hello, challenger, how's it going, man? Good to see you. <laughs> True accusation, and I feel like that is appreciated by a lot of people. I don't agree with the calling people out like that, because at the end of the day, we live and exist in a capitalist system where no one is slave, no one is chained to a Dofus server, nobody is chained to their computer and is made to play the game. You can literally just close it and start Apex Legend or open a pack of crisps and go out for a walk while listening to music. You can touch grass, you know, you can touch grass. You don't need to accuse them like this. This is why I disagree. <laughs> it has a lot of good points and I agree with a lot of what he said, as you can already clearly tell. But there are some things he gets wrong and there are some things where he exaggerates because yes, of course, it's, a, it's an emotional thing. You're upset, you care about the game, so you attack, you attack. But that does you a disservice. There is no situation that I can think of that is made better with aggression like that. How many times have you seen someone screaming and frothing from the mouth at someone and the reaction of that someone is, oh, I'm convinced, thank you very much. That was an excellent point. That's it, my mind has changed, thank you very much. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, that was really good, yeah, yeah. When you were screaming and spit was hitting my head, that's when I realized that I was wrong and I'm gonna change my ways. Okay, thank you very much. Do you see what I mean? It does not help your message. Edit. To add a positive point here, the project is a minimum respectful of the players. The music. Okay, thank you very much for mentioning the music. There was a lot of effort to it. They've hired an orchestra to redo the entire music of the game. And the quality is just out of this world. I mention it as number two of the things that I bloody love about this game right now. I'm playing with the music as you can hear. 
I've stopped organizing playlists and separating audio tracks so I can give you music during the live that is lively, that is good, that you would enjoy so you can have a say about the music as well. It's good enough. I don't need music anymore while playing Dofus. That's it. I'm convinced. It's one of the best things that they've changed right now. And he mentions it here. Thank you for doing that, random, angry French person. A real piece of work has been accomplished here. In order to modernize without losing the soul of the differ different uh, music themes. I'm a big fan. I shake your hand. Thank you very much. I like this. See, this is beautiful. This is heartwarming. Even though he's criticizing here. But you can't help but sympathize. Even if you disagree, you think the music is absolutely stonking rubbish. Worse than Kylie Minogue's music. You'll be like, alright, you're a decent guy. You're a good sport. We can disagree. I like this. I like this. I also shake your hand, random angry French person. Thank you to you too. <laughs> and I'm not even the developer of the game, so I don't feel attacked by all of this. <laughs> Edit number two. In reality, concretely, in fact, the decors are animated. The characters have changed artistic direction. The animations of spells have been redone and the interface has been modernized. That's it. This is where we are at. After so many years of development, these are the only points that have been worked. This is a mic drop. Without him saying a mic drop, he came, he went back and summarized. He was like, after, t after, after lambasting you for all of these pages, you've done nothing. You've modernized this, you've changed this, and you have developed this. That's all you've done for five years. This is the reality of it. Okay, fair enough. He's got 25 down votes, 153 of, okay. Right, for those of you who do not know who Papino is, uh, so, uh, the creators and owners of the company have people in charge. They used to have this guy called Logan. Logan left, and the next one in line is uh, Papino. We've had him over, we've spoke to him directly. He is the guy who is in charge of everything i've asked him what it is exactly that you do during your day what is your role in the company aside from the title which tells us practically nothing every decision that gets made about dofus or dofus retro goes by him so the designs he okayed them the spell changes he okays them the spell anime everything goes by him because he is the number one in terms of Deciding the direction of these games. He is the number one, right? Okay, everybody remembers Logan. He left this guy took his spot and the next one in command is Rebek, the guy who we see very often in there um, Let me show you. So this is the number one and number two sat together Talking about the game during the Japan Expo. So this was just a bit of context. So the guy who is Writing the author of the response that we will look into is this guy. It's Papino the number one. So this is not a matter of opinion. This is On good authority as good authority as it can get as a response from Ankama The only way it can get more official than this is if Todd the guy who owns the company jointly with Kama Came out and spoke about it. Okay, so we've just set up. I, I wanted to set this context before we even get started <laughs> I'm edging you so bad. <laughs> you love it, Lumino. You love it. Come on. I dare you to say otherwise. <laughs> right. Ankama, Dofus Production. The production team. So he's speaking on behalf of the whole production team. But it's signed Papino. So we know who wrote this. <laughs> I need to gear up for this. This is going to be wild. I have used, I am benefiting, and I'm benefiting you from having taken some time of calm and quiet before I respond to this topic. Kachka. And I'm going to mention a lot of things in my stride when I'm talking about everything. Right, first of all, whatever it is that you may think, I want to thank you for your response. Oh my god, I need new pants. I need new pants. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm gonna stop doing that. Right. Uh, no, we are not going to to only take into account your positive returns around the beta to say that it has been a success. It's done. That was the first accusation that the guy gave him. That you are 
uh, shamefully deceiving us in saying that all the returns the community has given you is positive. No, that's a lie. He's saying, no, we're not going to lie about that and only say we've had positive returns. That's the first thing. It is not our intention, nor would it be good for the project as a whole to have this attitude. I am, however, going to answer some points that I have picked up from your topic from everything that you have written on top here right first thing the foggy or what is the word that you used earlier nevelon the uh, blurry blurry blurry, blurry render thank you very much. <laughs> blurry rendering and the level design for your worries about the maps being foggy blurry and bad picto the picture rendering is blurry when you zoom in we are aware of this and we will propose a HD pack with an update for all the decor of the game. I, w I want to be very specific in my translation and precise because... No, 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 I don't, I don't like to translate, I don't like Google determining this because there are some things that Google does not know about how uh, the French person thinks or talks, so I'm going to do this my way. For all of your worries about the images in the background being blurry, we, we have a plan in place and we will in the future propose a HD pack with an update for all the decors in game in the future. So they are working on that, they just never mentioned it up until now. Good. The technologies that are used by Unity and Flash are... <laughs> oh my god, good. <laughs> <laughs> I've been glutoed. Okay, okay, moving on, moving on. I'm gonna try to forget that happened. The technologies used by Unity and Flash are drastically different on the rendering and the optimizations that we can have, that we are seeking to do, and they could possibly have an impact on the environment that we create. Right, so the technologies are different, and their impacts and optimizations that we, uh, on the game, are different and the impact that they have are different and you can clearly see that it is worthy of mention as well that the compression algorithms on images have changed over 15 years and surely there is some loss attributable to that however when it comes to the technique the pure technical aspect I'm not going to go back on the post and detail everything but we have a live with two level designers to showcase the work that has been done on the maps from which wow he is using incredibly sophisticated language it's like listening to a political debate he is really 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 pushing his words he's measuring his um, expressions and things like that so I'm gonna take a little while to do it properly and give it justice when it comes to purely the technical side I'm not going to go back on the post and detail everything but we have already done a live I've translated that I think I know what he's talking about the level design one with the tofus and things like that how they have redesigned everything so this was the most exhausting translation I've ever done to date the most exhausting and they're talking about how they take a static image that is a map and they make it animated and back to life so he's talking he's mentioning that he said I'm not gonna go back and re-explain everything we've done a couple of hours on this topic in an Ankama Live with two level designers these are the two level designers that are responsible for everything that moves so when you see this zap like this the light the trees moving they've done all the work they've taken a static image and they've cut elements of that static image and animated them individually and if you want to know more about this fascinating thing I've translated it it's a two hour long exhausting translation and you can get more out of it if you want to get deeper into this and it's also the reason why I made this post saying there are no flying tofus on this map because they were playing with flying tofus in here. Anyway, I digress. So if you want to get the full detail, I'm not going to do that, but we have a presentation that we've done with two level designers uh, they, where they presented the work on every single map from which we started. Yeah, and they've explained the state of the game as it is, the methods that we've had to use for production over the last 10 to 15 years, which make it really, really challenging to understand the current state of things. The technologies that we've had were shit back 15 years ago, and that's the starting point that we have to better and bring you a better game. So I think he's calling for patience here, I don't know.
Yeah, he's just saying what I've exactly described earlier. They've started from one image and they've had to do a lot of work that they develop in boring detail over the last two hours, over two hours. So how they go from a static image to the map that you have right now, which is animated, mobile, alive, and things like that. Let's just verify that it's the exact one. It's the exact one. The flying tofu, let's go. I called it. Right. So he's inviting the guy when it comes to this. If you think this is a problem, he's saying go and watch the live and you will understand through those through those two hours that there are technical difficulties with the starting point. The tech we've used in the past over the last 15 years is complete shit and it's difficult. But what I'm getting from knowing what he's talked about in the past and now he is essentially saying in my, this is my opinion, he's saying that the tech that we had is shit. It's not allowing us to do much right now, but we are moving to unity and in the future we will remedy all this. So it's not even a problem that this is foggy right now. It shouldn't be a problem. We will just release one update. You download a small pack, a little mini maintenance. Boom, everything becomes HD because we can do that now. So I think that shouldn't even be a point that we discuss because they have a solution and they are... They, they will propose that. that is, when he say we will propose an HD pack, tells me that I've already started working on it. Animations and unique skeletal body. For the animations that are not differentiated between classes, especially the idols, the breathing and the stance. Here again, some things were lost with us putting in place a unique frame. A lot of things were lost because we've put a unique frame, so we can't have differentiation. The putting in place of that unique skeletal body has allowed us to have massive gains from the production side on some sort of customizable aspect and on performance as well. This is not negligible, this is a big thing for them. However, I want to join you on the remark you've made and the fact that you've stated that we have a lot of work to do here again in order to retrieve a sort of identity for every class that is strong and unique. So Papino is agreeing that they've had to do that in order to be able to customize and move forward with the future, like the mobility, the movement, the emotes, all the stuff that they mentioned previously. It's not a negligible gain they have, but the drawback is that they all look the same but there's a lot of work, he agrees that there's a lot of work to be done in order to retrieve a unique identity for every class so they don't all move the same and look the same. Boom. I do not wish to make you promises that I will not be able to hold in the future, but this is a topic that will be very shortly spoken about internally and we will keep you up to date on this topic. So here we're done with animations and skeletal body, the fact that all classes look the same, they move the same, and the animations are over the top and a bit rubbish. So the breathing, the stance, the idol, all of that, they know it's happening, they're not satisfied with it, they've evolved the tech, which allows them to do a lot of things, but there's a drawback and they're fully aware of it. Are we happy with this point? Yes, Flinch. If you know anything about Ankama, they can't make a promise because the moment they default on it or they're late, they get lynched and they have to do emergency lives and they all run around like headless chickens on fire because the player base that is the majority of French people are brutal towards them. I have to admit, this was something that was said to me during the podcast with Manai and Papino. They thanked me after that when I said, thank you guys, I will be back. I will ease them out. They've literally, they were so... They were borderline disoriented with how respectful chat was. Imagine this, just take a moment and think about this. They were stumped by the fact that we had a civil conversation, a brilliant chat, people were saying thank you, uh, the mood was lovely, they were surprised by it. This is why they can't make promises, because that's not the norm for them. <laughs> if you're surprised that things were civil, that means the usual, the norm is that things are brutal and bad. <laughs> So yes, I understand that he would say something like that. It does not mean any more than I don't want to make you a promise that you'll come back and slap me with later on. Fight maps dot dot. For the maps inside the fights, when you get into a fight, the maps that you find, we found it. We found that we have received a mixed kind of return on this. That means 
sort of 50 50 some people said we love it some people say we hate it and just this chat reveals that i fucking love it and i sing its praises but art just disagrees with that and it's fine we have a difference in opinion because we're different people but we respect each other and we don't talk to each other like these guys talk to Enko. <laughs> so he's saying the realization that they've had as a company so far so he's saying this is not a clear-cut thing and our chat reveals that yes we have difference of opinion some people love it some people dislike it and that's what they have found certain people love it comma other people's are not fan at all like here between parenthesis in any case the constat le constat is uh, the realization what we see in fact what we observe the observation is that everyone uh, a peur des effets de bord everyone is worried about the effects of the edges i do not know what that means i'm not worried about the effects of the borders i find them rather cool because they help my brain delineate where the fight is happening i don't need to worry about i know what is I know what is beauty and map and surrounding and I know what is inside the map where I can click. So I don't know exactly what he means by that. Maybe chat, you have an opinion? I do not know. So, we have taken into account your feedback and your worries on the current distance meta, the difficulty of the areas and the impact on the eight characters. Oh no, hold on. In any case, the realization or the observation is unanimous and all right so everyone is worried about the side effects of a small map which means you guys have said this to me i did not even notice it but when a map is small the meta is going to become close combat isn't it <laughs> clearly if all maps are small then a crow is a shit class to play because you don't need range all you need is a close combat character and nothing is going to run away from you. So the meta is going to change. So this is the side effect that he's mentioning here. The fact that everybody noticed the maps becoming smaller has brought back some side effects that people have noticed, which means that the meta is going to change. And in, in his next paragraph, he says, we have taken into account your feedback and worries about the new distance meta. The fact that everyone is going to start playing close combat because the maps favor that. If you play close combat and nothing runs away from you, GG. Now, we are going to refaire le point and sit down and talk about this point. We will make it a central issue. We're going to review it with the team. Oh no, we have already reviewed this with the level design team from the day after we released the beta on Tuesday. So on Wednesday, we've sat down with the team and re-talked about this as a central point that we need to review. To put in place our own ideas for enhancement of this. So we need a lot more uh, feedback and concrete cases to ameliorate and enhance the formula. The beta is also here to help us receive your feedback and us to gather data as much data as possible to enhance and better all of this character design this is my biggest pet peeve and i will reiterate it on my post it is the number one thing that i dislike the number one thumbs down is the character design the artistic direction they have taken with the characters is borderline and i use the term borderline conservatively insulting to the average age of the player base if and i don't know everything i'm just a player just like you i play from my room in england and i get what i'm given i'm not in roubaix i'm not in france i'm not with them in the office i don't gossip around the office with them and i definitely don't own the company so what i know is what you know and what I know does not include what they want to do in the future, whether they want to turn this into a mobile game and they're preparing for it, or they have ideas that they're working towards. So we have imperfect information. They have full information. There's an imbalance here. So our opinion is that, is that this does not look good. Let's hear the response. This for me is the most interesting bit of the whole thing. So, the design they have for the characters and classes right now. I just wanted to make a remark and at the same time myself think about this, right? So, this is what Retro looked like. Can we agree on that? This is what the Kra yeah. looked like. This is what the yep. Fekka looked like. This is what the Ayop looked like. When they went from this to this, what we have now, they've lost two-thirds of their player base because they thought this was shit and they wanted this. They thought this was cool. And this was shit. I think I feel like I've made my point and I've made it to myself as well. 
just so I remember that while this is the number one thing that I dislike currently about the game, maybe I'm just experiencing what people have experienced in retro moving to 2.0 and they hated it, but now it's fine. I don't know. So I'll just reiterate what he's saying here. The artistic direction of the characters and classes, the returns and feedback they've received about those have been mixed. To say that everybody hates them is lying. And I've run a little test right now and he's right. Papino is right. When I was reading, you will remember, when I was reading the post earlier, I thought the guy was right and I was with him 100%. But that position now with two little tests, we've revealed that it's not clear cut. The proof is in the pudding. It's not 100%. So unless we can prove that it's 100%, I'm not going to say everybody hates it moving forward. It is a mixed bag. But the only thing I will say, that the repetition of it being mixed clearly is overwhelmingly negative. So in that, they should take that into account. Let's see if he responds to that. To say that the majority hates it would be lying. To say the majority adores it would also be lying. There's clearly some work here left to be done. And the fact of you having the game under your hands, the fact that you can try it and play it right now... Um, allows the community to see the characters evolve in the right context. Ooh, okay, 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 I see what he's doing there, okay. You charmer, okay. Is, does that mean what I think it means? The So clearly there's work to be done, and the fact that you have it now, you can play it, you can try it, means that when eventually we make some changes, you will see it evolve in the right direction. The feedback that we've got also have evolved in the meantime, between the time where we presented the lineups of the character in 2021 and the fact that you have them now under your hands and you can test them and try them. Oh, okay, okay, that's good, that's good. I like that sentence. Maybe they will better it and we will get to try it and see that it has evolved in the right direction. Will they do that? I do not know, I'm trying to be unbiased here. <laughs> I'm answering. Um, maybe I am not answering all the points that you've made in your response but if necessary I will complete it later on I want to remind you that we have a live I've said this earlier I want to remind you that we have a live next week in which we will brief you guys on the first week of the better whether your feedback whether you return whether what you think whether what you whether your experience is positive or not we are holding that briefing next week in a live and you will be able to see it all translated here on this channel. We will exchange and talk with you. Point. It is important to exchange on all subjects and not to hide! Exclamation <laughs> mark. That is adorable, I would like to say. And that's just me talking, he didn't say that. I would like to add one last word, word and let you profit from this holiday. So they, they, they have been working today, I should have said this in the beginning. We understand that some of the critiques and negative feedback that you have come from your passion for Dofus and the promises that Unity holds for you, the promise, the brilliant expectation that you have from Unity. We understand that a lot of your attacks and things that we've mentioned earlier this guy was doing up there in the car in the post come from a good place, a place of passion. So we understand that. However, comma Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, okay, all right, okay. So he's redirecting the impulse. I think he's talking to French people who are overly mad and they can become animals in the comments. And all you have to do is go to Anankama Live during a maintenance where they haven't opened the servers on time. Go to Twitter and see the comments under their posts. Fucking filthy animal comments. So I think now he's responding to that. And he's saying, if you must be an animal, attack the project, not the team. Don't attack the people. Attack the project. <laughs> I hear your negative feedback, whatever they may be. All your possible negative feedback about the direction of the project as a whole. We've mentioned Dof is becoming more gamified, maybe becoming a mobile game. The artistic direction, we've said that about the um, gamified look of the characters right now that don't have a soul, don't have a character, NPCs look better, we've mentioned all of that. 
and the optimization of multi-accounting, etc., etc. Maybe he's talking about the hero mode. He's saying, I hear all the things that you're saying that you hate about the game. The full direction of it, the artistic direction we've taken, and the multi-account. The fact that we're not giving you a, a satisfactory hero mode. However, attacks towards the team will always be the limit of acceptable criticism. This is the point I have made from the start about language. And I really hope that I won't have to say this again. It's my opinion, but he's clearly repeating it here. The limit of every opinion that you have is where you attack the team. And I push it even further. The moment you use negative language, you've hit that limit. And if he's saying it's a limit, that means he's not willing to engage with it. He's not going to pay as much attention to it. You've got to understand that these people are human beings just like we are. If you get upset, you no longer want to listen, you want to go, they're, they're the same, yes they're working, yes they want the salaries, but they're not animals, they're not slaves, we don't want to treat them badly. So insofar as you care about the game becoming better, employ a good language and don't attack the team. So he's saying don't attack the team, I'm saying do that, but also don't, be an, don't use employ elegant language. This is a life experience, it's something that I've developed from being alive for 30 plus years. Language matters. And I wish you good game, whether it be on the beta or on the flash version. And I say to you, see you later. The Pope. The Holy Pope. <laughs>